Hello, welcome to my channel. The time now is 7.56 p.m. Monday, October the 2nd. Before I do anything else, I must give praises to the Most High. Because if it wasn't for Him, He make everything possible. He gives you free will and mind. And you chose to do with it what you want. If you chose it for evil, that's bad. If you chose it for good, that's good. If you chose it to help other people, that's good. If you chose it to serve the Creator, that's even better. My topic today, and, and before I get started, is about General Armstrong Custard. Um, they must have got some kind of deal with Hollywood, because every time I see Custer in the movie uh, from the 1800s, they make him look very good, like he shot down 20 Indians with a, uh, with a revolver, and that's not true. They had to make him look good, because uh, he was a soldier, a bad soldier, and um, like I did another topic on him, and um, they said it was a lady warrior there, but they don't have no proof, but... I think she could have been there. I did a story on her, too. She was a, a lady chief. And they don't want to believe the indigenous people that was there because they was Indian. So they're going to take a change the story around. So I saw something on television about him. And they were trying to scour the, the, the where they had that big fight at, finding anything to recognize the soldier. All they was thinking about was the soldiers that fought the, the, the Lakotas and Cheyenne. They wasn't thinking about they had families and uh, uh, they lost loved ones because they uh, they was uh, honoring him because he was a white man. That's why they honored him and so like that. And um, and I also heard so many stories about this man. They said one story said um, Custer shot himself in the head because he didn't realize there was that many Indians, so he got scared. That's what I heard. But then. The other story about the lady chief, I heard that one. That one sound more plausible, you know. And that's all they was thinking about. Oh, the poor soldiers. Wonder what their parents thought. Nobody didn't give a goddamn about the Indian getting killed and, and, and risking his life to fight them, to run them off their, off their land. Like I told people, Natives are the, was the caretakers of the land. I don't care what nobody say, how you sugarcoat it. They was here first. But other people now that they think it's money involved, you got fake people on 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 these channels um, trying to say that Indians that live on reservations is not real. I'm the mouthpiece for all indigenous people that you know uh, probably don't want no no smoke. But I say bring the noise, bring the smoke, cause it's not right, you know. And um, I'm not trying to take nothing from African American people. They did do a lot of things in this country. And so, so is Indian, but nobody want to give the Indian no credit. And uh, uh, I told you they got other worlds, other portals. I know it's too far fetched for y'all. Some of y'all little small pea brain, and it's like that um, Fourteen Amendment that pertains to like you can't discriminate or um nobody when they go for a job and stuff like that. I know what that means, but people do it today. They discriminate, so they those are you don't hear them. All the people talk about it, all they. Space stable is those five ones that they think their rights are being violated and they're not. And I told people that, uh, that that's not for people of color anyway. That's for other people and stuff like that. People that come to this country got more rights than you got because their ancestors took this land. So, and that's why I try to tell people, but people want to believe what they want to believe. I was brought up different. My mother brought me up as like it's indigenous person because she know the land. And she know what was done. And when I saw the, the, that um, thing about custard, all they was trying, they wasn't finding no Indian, um, you know, how he, how the native looked back then. They they put the, even put this white man's face together to show you they think that's who that was and who this was. And so like that, all the military got their tactics from the, huh? What? It makes between two point four thousand to forty two thousand a month. No wonder she's rich. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was doing... yep. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. 
That's I'm, who Sean Rock, y'all. Rock, what you got Rock. in my video? Huh? You were talking while I was doing my video about custard. But that's all right. That's good. Um, You want to say something about that? I, I'm talking about custard, like how they made him look so good in movies. Hollywood movies got to deal with these, this, the, the, the military. And they, I, I seen some uh, movie with Custard when he I took say, one revolver. You know Custard was wrong, and unfortunately, he got what was coming to him. That's the name of this topic. Custard got what was coming to him. And if people don't, and, and I'm trying to speak out about that. I'm trying to tell my truth. And um, he made, I think they got about like 30 or 40 movies. All of them got a different story. Make him to stand up there and shoot down about 10 or 20 Indians. When, when they know that ain't true, they try to make him look good. He was a soldier. Like I said before, sorry about that. My wife was interrupting. She was excited about Chris Rock. <laughs> but, sorry, I didn't know you were around. Yeah, so what I was saying, people got to get their facts right, and people feel there's money involved with these uh, fake indigenous people. And they, like people try to like they respond for everybody's existence. Like I said before, some natives would agree with me. Then because something is not documented in the Bible, that don't mean it ain't true or it didn't happen. These stories have been passed down from generation to generation to generation. And I do believe that my mother told me the creator gave special in your angels the ability to create other people. That's why um natives was was created by that's why when you ask an Indian sometimes where he come from, he going to say the sky people. That's another, uh, uh, he come from another being. Even my mother said when I was born, it was a blue light come from inside her womb. That means, well, I ain't going to explain that because it's too hard because people believe what they want to believe. Everybody was trying to be Indian. A lot of people's plants too that be on YouTube, like they talk about it, but they getting paid by the white man. That's why they say all that crap. And and, and 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 think they native. I'm gonna write a book about my family and stuff like that. I ain't starting. I'm waiting till I'm moving in a bigger place. And uh, we getting a, a one family house in West Hartford. So what I was saying, Buster thought if he killed a lot of Indians, he wanted to become president. That's what he wanted to do, but he never got the chance and stuff like that. Nobody really never know the truth about Buster because they got so many phony ass stories. About him, but to make him look great, he also was German descent. Uh, even though he probably was born here, but his family settled here from Europe and stuff like that. So that's why they call him. Uh, it's another word they call cousin, but I ain't, I don't want to get into that. But I'm just saying he did get what he what he what he seeked out. He got what he deserved because you on there. Messing with natives and they ain't bothering you. I heard people call indigenous people savages, um, Asians, um, Asian and Chinese mix, and stuff like that. You got some indigenous people still pure in because they never mixed with nobody. So everybody be saying all this stuff, they be making up stuff. And um, but back to Custard, he wasn't nice. And I also think that he was killing slaves too. They don't talk about that. So like that he hated Indians. He hated anybody of color that didn't look like his ass. And um just like I went to an army base when I spoke about him in Brooklyn, some of the soldiers are getting mad. Y'all got y'all military tactics from the native. He was doing all that camouflage, burying himself in dirt, hiding it in water and stuff like that, and, and um put bushes on top of making himself look like a plant. And he keep moving closer to the get and kill zone that he'd take your ass out. I'm proud of who I am and, and uh, stuff like that. Nobody can't tell me anything. You all, you, everybody will be proud of their culture, but some people are not. Like in the Bible, I said this many times in my other video, people take on other people's identity. That's in the Bible. Some people say they this and that. And if you belong to a tribe, like a, if you see a tribe, most of everybody in the tribe look alike because they all is related, you're not you know what I'm saying? But well, you see people that saying they this Indian and that Indian, and when you see all of them together, they don't even look like the what they say they is because they not who they. Say. That's why a lot of people are scared to take DNA because DNA do prove who you are and stuff like that. Why you think they can catch murderers 
There's one deed, and if it, it was, they do catch dangerous murder that kill people. They caught a man who was in hiding for 20 years, and somehow they got his DNA and so like that, cracking down and arresting him. He had changed his identity and everything. People do that all the time. They change their identity. And sooner or later, catch up to her. That's why a drug dealer, when he sells drugs, he not getting his money honest, and he always got to be looking over his shoulder because he thinks somebody could come take it from him. And, uh, and the only one would take it back from him is Satan and uh, and stuff like that. My mother said, if you get something honest, you don't have to be worried about nobody come take it because you got it honest. He got to be looking, oh, he's living a dangerous life. So sometimes the competition will rub him out and, you know, and everything like that because you not get nothing honest. You got to always look over your shoulder. Well, and another word I want to say before I leave, I just make my videos short and quick. And another thing I want to say, if I leave for the, the, the Midwestern Indians, when they say mini machoni, that means water is life. Without water, you can't survive. No matter how much soda you drink, because it's sweet, it's just going to make you more more thirstier. So, y'all sleep on that, you know, and what I'm saying, I'm not trying to hurt people uh, out here. I'm just talking, you know, and everybody else can talk. Why can't I talk? And like I said, them YouTubers, the ones that call themselves journalists, they not they not about nothing. They not about no first, second, third, fourth, fifth amendment, fourteenth amendment. Go all the way up there. They about making money, and they keep on saying um, de-escalate. They want that de-escalation to start because that's what they live for and die for. They 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 didn't want. They want the confrontation. They try to pretend they don't. They know damn well they want to go. Without that, they wouldn't have a goddamn video with that stuff. They be doing feminine balls and looking in police cars. That ain't no amendment. They do all kind of stupid shit. That's why my wife don't like to look at them. Because it's not about um your rights. They about their their right to the to bear money. That's what their rights are. That's their God. And and a lot of them don't want to admit that, but they do. Sometimes they get the when a cop don't answer them, they get all bent out of shape. Cause, and uh, most of them is criminals, most of them is kidnappers, most of them uh, rape people and stuff like that. So it's so bitter towards a cop. They don't know a good cop if it came if a dog came and bit them in their ass, they wouldn't know nothing. And they try to pretend that they know every law. And when they break in the law they own, sir, so, like I said, a cop, you don't need to be trespassed. If you in a building, they can't throw you out without having proper cause or like the person wants you to leave. And like I said before, y'all follow this law, even though we know it's illegal. But you know, I mean, ain't nothing you could do about because they do have to protect people from coming in, even the outside of coming here, like Biden to let these people come in this country because his ancestor was illegal and stuff like that. Immigration, uh, all this stuff is illegal. Like banks and stuff, they all corporations, and they, they they take your money. If you had like ten million dollars in the bank, they invest that money in stock. They're not gonna tell you, and they'll make money off your money and put your money back in the bank. That's how this bank got caught. They did that to these the, the people. I forgot what town it was, right in America, and they come replace the money back. And they got, uh, I think, the city had to get the people back their money. They shut that bank down and stuff like that. And um, like when they attacked the Indian, most of those people that they attacked was children. Native American children. They was cowards anyway. That's why they wait till all the men went to war. The warriors went out, I guess, hunting in that day when they attacked the, the, the natives. There's so much stuff I want to say. Uh, I can't either make videos after videos. I'm not trying to hurt nobody or make people get angry at me. I'm just putting my truth out there. I don't know everything, but I don't try to pretend to know nothing. But when you talk to those um, fake journalists, you see how apprehensive they get, and, and, and they swear they can never be wrong. That means you perfect. That means you're God. That means you know more than him. I see things I shouldn't say either, but I always say I'm sorry, you know, because I, I just have so much anger in me, and uh, I have got cussed out by people uh, for no reason and stuff like that. Some people are telling me I'm too dark at being native. Uh, you've been watching many John Wayne movies. And stuff like that. Indians don't go by color unless he's a, a, a stupid one. 
you know, and uh, I know what I am. I know what my mother was. My mother spoke fluent Shoshone, and she spoke fluent Korean, and she spoke Spanish, you know. She spoke a lot of other things. She even spoke a little Japanese because she had a Japanese friend in New Jersey named Miss Karate. I know y'all think that was her name, Miss Karate Sukiyaki. I think that was her name. Of, it had a yaki in it, almost like yaki Indian. So that's all I wanted to say. You know, Custard, you had it coming to you. And when uh, when Europeans fought the Indians, it was a victory. When the Indians killed white people, it's a slaughter. That don't even balance right to me. Stuff like that, because they only care about their own people. It's like other people in this country, they don't care about you. They care about their own people. Like I got attacked. My people last the uh yesterday took it out in the wrong restaurant. You get out, get out. And I said I wasn't even doing nothing. I was just, you know, trying to talk. Only one East Indian person was nice to me, it was a girl. And she said, You didn't order nothing from here. And then she said, I'm sorry. I said, Oh, that's all right. That's all you had to say. When I went to the other restaurant, he told me to my your wife talked too much in my country, should have got shot. Why would you say something like that? Because you come from a third world called violent ass desert. So I don't mean to bust nobody's bubble, but that's the truth. And that's why I always try to get my truth out. I don't mean to step on nobody's toes. I don't want to, you know, hurt nobody. I'm just talking. I, when I look at those YouTubers, they uh, they all talk like common criminals, but a lot of them is. That's why they have so much anger. They mad because some of them at the new time. And they said, oh, this is a new way we can make money. We can harass people at their job. The hell y'all filming cars with with, with the ink? I don't do it no amendments. It's just stupid and stuff like that. And and Jekyll, you pay somebody's salary. Now I mean you gotta treat them like S H I T. That's how y'all treat them. Y'all treat people like it's uh Nazi Germany. But to y'all everything is cool. And sometimes they don't care if they hurt people. They just wanna get the confrontation so they can get all these views. And a lot of time they can pay people can uh, pay for their views too and stuff like that. That's what some people do. Well, that's it for now. And people should stop bashing people when y'all say y'all work for these big companies. You working for a company right now? I always hear them say that like fake Mike real new. What the hell you think um you two is? It's a billion dollar industry and all y'all making money off it. That's why y'all don't care who y'all run over and you always dissing ladies. Uh, when my wife said y'all misogynist. You know, and stuff like that. But you always attack a lady. You don't go too hard on a man. Man's wear makeup too. How come y'all say nothing about him when y'all be talking to the news guy? You always attack. Because y'all, I think y'all hate women. Uh, yeah, you don't know a man photographer, a man a journalist. He wear makeup too because it comes out better. Because when you don't wear the makeup, it's not going to look. Because I know him in order, when I was in the movie, Richard Gill, Autumn, in the, in the Autumn. Uh, what's the name of the movie? I was in the Autumn uh, in New York. Yeah. When I was in that movie, they didn't put makeup on me. They forgot. And uh, I didn't show right. That's why they had to wear makeup. They're not trying to be cute. Y'all just to try to find a reason to pick at everybody. Nobody can't do nothing for y'all. If the cop or just stand around, oh, he's wasting the tax dollar. Y'all waste the tax uh, pay a dollar. or you know, so, you know, you pay somebody sorry. You out there doing all that bogus crap. And and and, and then, and then a, y'all making the cop lose something. Or he comes short for some stupidness that y'all be doing. That's the taxpayer dollar. Y'all wasting the taxpayer taxpayers dollar. That if some of y'all even got jobs and stuff like that, I would work and so like that's why I get retirement money. Some of y'all ain't never worked a day in y'all life. That's like the raspy was. It's oh shit, we can make people proud. To you, man. Oh, pretending you're a journalist, you can make a lot of money saying that all these dumbass clowns. That's what y'all be calling the people out here dumb. But y'all need them dumb people to make y'all stupid ass video. Y'all don't pay no acting. Y'all don't pay them. Actors get paid. Y'all getting free uh, actors. But when you do that, and some YouTubers don't do the kind of crap y'all do. I seen some YouTubers buy people groceries and they give the person a hundred dollars. Y'all ain't gonna take no money out y'all pocket. Y'all stingy. And cheap asses. And y'all know damn well a lot of times y'all ain't have no reason to be in the book. Sometimes y'all have to stand there and make up something. 
a, a four-year recruit. What the hell is that four-year recruit? What the hell is that going to do? Y'all want to speak to somebody's supervisor. Y'all like to get people in trouble. Y'all like to get people fired and stuff like that for no reason sometimes. But the people don't agree with y'all want somebody to kiss y'all asses. Y'all ain't going to admit that. Y'all want somebody to bow down to y'all. Here, Smokey, come bow down to me. I'm your master. I'm your God. I'm your Lord. I would never do none of that crap to y'all, to bow down to y'all. Only put I bow down to is God. You know, another God, another human being, supposed to make another human being miserable. But y'all like it, though, because y'all got miserable souls. Sometimes people make a lot of money. They still unhappy. That's the most wrong with y'all bastards. I, I, I can't stand that. But I got off my subject about custard. And uh, I'm just so angry, you know. I'm just trying to get everything out because you keep something ball up in you. And nobody's speaking for the Indian. Like when um when those Indians um lost their sons and stuff, probably son in law. Did you see them on the on the, on on that town? Oh, the poor Indians. When did his mother think of losing her son? They ain't saying no, all they was interested in the, the, the soldier that died. Because they was white just like them. And no more about this. That's the 1800s little story I told about custard. And so, like, they always, they done done about 40 movies. And every movie got a different ending to it. Like, he's so great. He's standing around with all his, with all, all his, um, uh, um, outlet, all of his soldiers was wiped out. He only going to be standing up uh, and took out, like, 25 Indians. Or one revolver, you know, damn well that man they do them. I seen the movie, and you never see them reload because that's Hollywood. They they gotta make him look good, but he's a soldier, a crooked one, but he was a soldier. So that's it for this um chapter. Um, Custard had it coming to him, and if you like this video, comment and share, and like. And I also got a GoFundMe page for my um. For my niece that live in the South, I wish somebody would reach out and try to help her. I started this pack because she needs care and she needs a lot of stuff, you know, and it takes money. I told my wife, I said, if I ever get a lot of money, I'm going to give her about four or five hundred thousand dollars. I'm going to start a trust fund for her other children. I don't get nobody. I'm going to start one for, uh, for the net. Uh, my niece, she's a beautiful person. She got a great soul. And her vibe is good. She got a lot of energy, like in uh, Chi. That means you got good energy, yin and yang, and stuff like that. It's, yin is soft, yin is hard. And I think she go hard, like, cause she's a survivor, you know, and stuff like that. That's why I love them, her and her children so much. And, uh, and my wife, too, too, because that's her aunt. You know she going to love her, and stuff like that. And, um, even though I don't call sometimes, they be on my mind sometimes. But um, I just, you know, want people to know that I do care, but I have an anger inside of me, too, about what people do to me. People don't like me because I've, I've showed my culture. What's wrong with everybody? So their culture. You even have a person in Africa would show his culture. India would show his culture. And and when I show mine, I'm letting people know we still here. Cause a lot of people think some all Indians are dead. I even see them talk about that in school, but it's not true. So I can go on forever, but I just got to say good night. And everybody have a pleasant evening. Donna Dai Wado. I mean, take care and have a blessed night. Oh, name mean goodbye. Josh, Yawish, mean thank you. So good night.